Hey folks, welcome back to the channel for another scum video. In today's video we look at how exactly to hack the new card readers and what is the easiest way to do so. As always folks, thanks for watching, stay safe and take care. So, since the latest update 0.9, they have introduced a wide variety of new content into the game including the new bunkers. This brings me on to the first challenge I encountered. How do I hack the card readers that lock the front doors during the day? Create the new bunkers if you do not have the appropriate key card and the door is powered, you can attempt to hack your way in through the door. Hold the interaction key on the door and you will see the option. Once you select it, you will be met with this screen. This will be the panel you are attempting to get through. Before we get into anything else, your theory skill will dictate how much time you get in game to hack the card readers. Now, it's time to do some math. So if we look at the panel, you will see three key numbers, input, current, output and desired output. You are required to flip the switches with the correlated functions to transform the input number into the required number. On the left hand side you will find each switch that corresponds with its power on the right. The functions on the right are divided into two sections. The left corresponds to the left output and the right relates to the right one. So. You either turn the switch on to enable both or leave it off for both. Now, the way the system calculates it is from top to bottom, so it does not matter which switch you enable first, it will always be from top to bottom. Let us look at this one solved. So for this one, we had to turn on all of the switches except for the first two. We get the result like this. Once you have the required results, do not forget to pull the lever. Unfortunately, this is bad news for anybody whose math skills are not the sharpest like mine. There's no real tactic you can apply to this other than simply doing the maths quickly in your head. To explain it simply, each time you attempt to hack the card reader it will generate a random number to play as your input. On the right hand side you will see numbers with signs. Beside them there will be equations that must be followed in order to make your input number match the two output numbers you can see here on the right hand side. We have four symbols that we see here on the right hand side. Some of them are blank which is good for us and we have a multiply, division and addition symbols. As you can see this is what they all mean so the first thing you want to do is get familiar with these signs. Let's take a go and try and hack a couple of readers and do some maths. So let's see what our input number is. The first one is 120. This is a number you will see repeated over here on the bottom right hand side. Both of these switches using these calculations on the right side must result in the output number signals on the right hand side which is 80 and 60. Now it doesn't matter how many switches you press, it could be one or it could be almost all of them. Check out this first example. All I had to do was turn on one single switch to get the exact voltage I was looking for. As you can see on the board, the corresponding symbols which were minus 40 and divided by 2. This gave my input number the total of 80 and 60, which is all we need. Don't forget to flip the switch whatever you do. The next one I did had a different input number which was 200, and your output goal was 150 and 45. I didn't really have a plan on which switch to push first. My usual plan is to try and start small. First, I divided my output by 2, which gave me 100. My next switch took away 60 and 10 from both outputs which gave me 40 and 190. This switch divides both outputs by 2. The bottom switch multiplies output A with 2 which gives me 40 and it also divides my output B by 2. My current output is now 40 and 48 which is really promising. As the timer is running out I know I need to do the maths quicker and luckily enough the next two switches I picked were the correct voltage. While this is just basic maths, you still need to be sharp with your calculations and try to do them in your head quicker. As you can see on this final attempt, my input value was 60 and my output goal was 60 and 800. Straight away I knew I needed to aim for high numbers on my output B, so I got to work doing the maths. So I started by flicking the switch that added 60 onto my second output, then quickly selected the switch below which multiplied my second output by 2 which gave me a current total of 60 and 240 which was a great start. I decided that the bottom switch was the next best step for me which multiplied both outputs by 2 giving me a new total of 120 and 480. 
After this, I got a little lost and was starting to struggle. I knew I had to get back on track or I would fail, so I started crunching numbers as fast as I could. Eventually, I got there with the desired output, which meant I could now flick the switch and enter the bunker. Anyway folks, I was hoping there would be an easier way to hack these card readers, but unfortunately the only tactic is cold hard mathematics done manually in your head. Of course this will be harder for some and considerably easier for others, but remember folks, just like the lock picking, practice, practice and more practice. As always folks, I hope you find this video useful, if you have any questions or comments please leave them below and have a great day.